Hi guys and welcome back to Buddy Fellow. Sorry if I <coughs> sorry if I'm um sound a little congested because I am sick. So yeah. But I am doing this for you guys. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm doing this for you guys and um a little bit slower because I'm still recovering from that mild concussion. Um, that was a week ago that I talked about in, um, the Portuguese dubbed Woody Woodpecker Prince. So, let's just get on with it right now. Today, I'm reviewing At the Circus. Now, much like Room Service, this movie is trash. Also, the only funny parts and gags are written by Buster Keaton. Yeah, he was working as a gag man around this time at MGM. So, how to describe this? I don't, I don't even know what's going on. It's just, I mean, it's okay, but it's really cheesy and just bad. Like, somehow... They watered down the Marx Brothers even more than room service. Also, Groucho has probably the crappiest wig I have ever seen on. Okay. They also bring it back in Go West, but that one's a little bit better. Um, and in the big store, they made the wise decision not to have a wig in the first place. And he actually looked pretty good in that one. So, I watch like probably an hour and 15 minutes of this. This is probably one of the first I watched. But, here's the thing. The first one I watched was Monkey Business and that was good. And then we get this. So, I don't even know where to start with this because, like, like, just, no, okay? Also, this movie celebrates 10 years of the Marx Brothers being on screen, along with So, um, with nine films, that caps out the first ten years of the Marx Brothers' career. The next ten years, it's not that good. It's, I mean, we kicked it off the decade with an amazing, with the best film, um, 1930s Animal Crackers. And then we got the monkey business, which it wasn't, it wasn't, definitely wasn't as good as Animal Crackers, but it's really underrated. Then we got horse feathers, which was a lot better than monkey business, still didn't hold a candle to Animal Crackers. And then we got duck soup. I think that's really overrated. Um, duck soup had some good gags, though. And then they watered down the Marx Brothers in A Night at the Opera, and then even more in A Day at the Races, and then even more in Room Service, and then even more where we are today. At the Circus. This movie is so cheesy. I, I don't understand why this is like the finale is just weird the songs are really 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 um kind of risque including groucho's song also in that song um groucho um he references his own character that was much better and funnier captain spaulding um 
I think I'll play a clip. Groucho also performed this on radio. So, yeah, that's kind of the only one. Also, in The Muppet Show, they did the same song. So, I think that that was a season one episode. Um, I really don't like this one, okay? Um, Chico has a lot of wrinkles. Harpo has the usual, like, ten bags under his eyes. Um... Groucho has that atrocious wig. The acting's terrible. The love interests are terrible. You don't you don't like anyone in the film. Except for Um, except for Harpo, who's trying his best, because while well, he's a mime actor and his character doesn't really change, um, other than being just a childlike mime. So yeah. Probably the weakest I've seen Harpo is in Room Service. This one got him a little bit better. So, um, but guys, join me tomorrow where I talk about probably the best film we've seen since Night at the Opera, and that is Go West. And then, probably the best film we've seen since Duck Soup, The Big Store. Well, I don't know what to think about this one. I'll give it a 2 out of 10. 2 or 3. 3. 3 out of 10. It's not that bad, but it's kind of terrible. Um, because it, it marks all of my... Marks. Um, it marks all my... All of my bad checklist um the way characters are cast is bad the way they act is bad the love interest is bad um the songs are bad um it's really cheesy and they try to make it family friendly all of that stuff so there's probably a couple more checks that i go through so three out of ten for this one it's a it's it's a little bit better than room service they still water them down a lot even more than room service groucho's character has gotten a little bit better chico's has stayed the same and harpo is harpo it's kind of like it's kind of how um, Larry Fine from the Three Stooges, his character did not change at all and he tried to keep it through instead of, um, Mo, who just turned into, like, a child-friendly robot. So, um, I don't really understand that. Like, I was watching this, I was watching one with Curly Joe, and, uh, like, that... It, it was just terrible. It's called Have Rocket Will Travel and that's their first one. You could already see how like they want everything to be family friendly now. So that's that's that. I really don't know what else to say. Um, videos on deck. Um, my latest Crouch Remarks movie is probably going to release in mid-May. Um, mid to late May. Um, trying to do daily uploads. Um, I think tomorrow I'm gonna do, um, go west because I, I can't, I can't hold that in anymore. I have to review that movie because it's probably the best we've seen since Night at the Opera. And then I'll do the big store the next day. And then, um, on, wait, so, so on Wednesday, I'll, um, go through how bad Gray Stafford's Woody Woodpecker voice was, and how great Ben Hardaway's was. So, yeah. And then I'll go on to, 
A Night at Casablanca with the Marx Brothers. And then I'll go to Love Crappy, I Mean Happy. Oh, I got something. I've had this for in a while, but I haven't really talked about it. If you're a Marx Brothers fan, then you should really buy this book. It's called Harpo Speaks. Yeah. Um, I did find some typos in here, but yeah, that's fine. So yes, I am really going. I am going. I am gone. I am alone. I rave I dance.